Hey guys, let's learn something very interesting. Excel magic with Python where we are going to read cell values in a snap. So let's see how this can be really achieved. So just in the previous video, you have learned how can you read how many sheet names are present in a given Excel file. In the previous video, I have shown you this is my Excel file which contains two different sheet, sheet one and automate with Rakesh. And by writing this code, in the previous video, I have shown how you can print the sheet one and the automate with Rakesh. So both the sheets or number of sheets that your Excel file might contain that we can print it using this specific code. Now we will proceed little ahead and try to read a cell value. To do that, let me show you the Excel file. So this Excel file has got two different sheets. Let's say I wanted to read what is present in B2. Let's say I would like to read what is present, what is the data present in C6. How that can be done using Python is something we are going to learn. Now remember, until now what we have learned, this variable A having the entire Excel file. So this is a, when you say load workbook, what it actually does, it loads the entire Excel it loads the entire Excel to memory, to temporary memory, okay? So that means A variable contains the entire Excel file. The A variable contains the entire Excel file. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another variable called B. And this B variable, because a sheet, a Excel file can contain multiple sheets. Now what I'm going to say, hey, this guy B, you should represent the sheet 1. So how to write that? I am saying B and I am taking the A. A means what? It is representing the entire Excel file. Okay. And I am using square bracket and inside the square bracket, I am simply writing the sheet name. So uh, let's understand this particular line. What is happening? A represents entire Excel file and I am saying inside that entire Excel file, there is a sheet called sheet 1 and B variable you should hold this entire sheet data. So now what is happening? The B contains the entire sheet 1 data. So whatever data is there in the sheet 1, now which variable is holding this entire data? B variable. Okay, that is clear. Now I wanted to target to a specific cell, any cell it could be. So I am using another variable called C equals to, so B contains the entire sheet data. So here I am saying, Okay, now this is the time I can give any cell value. For example, I want to give, let's say, A2. This is A2, right? A, col uh, A column, row number 2. So that means it should show me the value 101. So here I am going to say A2. So B contains the entire data. So I am saying C variable, you should only show me what is there in A2. And this A2 data is there in the B variable. Getting it? Pretty simple one. And all I am doing, say value. Okay, dot value. And let's print C. While learning, remember always to use simple, simple variables. During a project, during your you know practicals, you have to write proper variables. But while learning a simple concept, use simple variables that becomes quite easy to understand. So let me run it. So what did I get? Did I get 101? Is it matching with the Excel file 101? Yes. What if I would like to uh, see what is this B column uh, sixth row? So B6. So let's go. And here instead of this, I'm typing B6 and I'm going to run this code. So what did I get? Did I get E? Yes. Is it matching with the data? Yes. So let's recap what we have learned. First of all, what we have done, we have used the pandas library. We said import pandas. Then we have used OpenPy Excel, which is a library. And in that, we are not using all the functions of OpenPy Excel. Rather, we are importing a simple function called load work workbook. Now, using load workbook, what we are doing, first of all, we have defined the file path where exactly it is there, the Excel file. And after defining the entire Excel file, we are loading the excel file temporary to a variable called a by using load workbook so that is the functionality of load workbook function from openpy excel 
once we have loaded the data to the a variable now a becomes a representation of the entire excel file so here i'm saying hey create a b variable which is only going to represent a particular sheet in that entire excel file so done now here using the c variable what i'm doing b in the square bracket i'm mentioning because the b variable contains the entire sheet inside that whatever the value is there in a particular cell represented by the index number right b6 dot value when i write i get the value so that is all quickly i can target a specific cell so that's for it for this video we are going to learn a lot more interesting topics coming ahead so do not forget to give it a like and if you have any questions do comment did you get this have you got an understanding of this concept or not at least type yes okay in case you have haven't got any understanding please do let me know so that i can improve myself so thank you guys for watching please do give it a like and do share with your friends who would like to learn python from our channel thank you take care bye bye